Now, the next step is to start the edit. Okay, and there you go. Uh, completely edited from beginning to end. Hey guys, let's just get right into it. I'm Roy S. Ford, showing you how I edit my videos. In this specific video, I'm gonna show you how I edit my reaction videos. This is my screen, you see it's recording over here. I'm gonna have my camera over here to the side so that you can actually kinda see me as I'm doing this. For this project, I really wanna start off brand new. So, obviously I'm starting with Final Cut Pro, you see it there. Uh, first thing is just bringing in all the content. I'm gonna start with a brand new project in this case, I'm editing the video Feats, which is a band. It'll pop up a brand new thing, Feats song. I'm gonna bring in the camera footage first. So there it is right there. And so that's off of this camera right over here, just coming off of my Canon camera that I shot that was set up over here for me. Um, and then I had a webcam also, and then I had audio coming off of the boom mic those are my three sources that I had to pull in here. I'm gonna bring in the camera. There's the, there it is right there already there. What's up, Roy S. Ford, back again for yet another reaction video. Okay, so there, there's the audio there. I'm gonna, there's a clap at the beginning that I put all of these in uh, so that I can sync everything up. All right, so here's the track from the webcam. So I'm gonna put that up top there. Just so I'm layering everything, and then I'm gonna go find the audio that goes with this. In this case, I'll listen for it. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Roy S. Ford back again. That sounds like it. Let's throw it in here and see what we got here. Yeah, that's it. And I'm looking just right here at the uh, the waveforms. You see the waveforms there? I can know immediately just by looking at the waveforms that this is my audio track that came off of my boom mic. But I use that clap as a way, you see where I'm clapping my hands right there, I use that clap to sync up my audio tracks. So I'll zoom in real tight right here and get these waveforms lined up as close as I possibly can. Okay. The great thing about this is because I put a clap in everywhere, you can see where I'm clapping. Yep, there's that first clap right there, somewhere in there. Use my hand tool, move things around a little bit in order to see where I'm clapping, which is right there. And I'm gonna use the arrow keys. Using the arrow keys is always important to see exactly where that clap takes place, which is right there. I'm gonna mark it just because the audio is so low on that one. And I can line that up with the clap of the audio file, as you can see here. There you go. So now all of these are lined up so what I'll do is I typically go in here and find out where my edits are. <laughs> okay, it's always a little small window for my reaction. And what I'm gonna do is crop it. So I'm cropping this down. Okay, and then I'm gonna now scale it down. And I usually kind of use the reference of wherever the clapboard is. So it'll either come here or be there, but I need to scale it down. It's still a little too big. All right, so it'll be somewhere right there. There we go. Now, the next step is to start the edit. Let's just get rid of the audio of me talking on camera, because that camera mic I don't really need. Board back again for that one we don't need that audio so I'm just gonna mute it by do, getting rid of the audio like that now that everything's lined up okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get the edit started which I know that there's a beginning middle and end for all of my reaction videos the reaction takes place in the middle I have an intro and an outro and I'm gonna just really rough cut it in really quickly here so let's let's go all right so that's kind of where the end of my intro is we're rolling good and then I go back and double Peace. check Let's see what it is. All right, so I, I'll usually put an edit right there. And then I will go in and come to the end down here, which is the end of the song. And at the end of the song, I usually have an outro. Just using those arrow keys to finesse the edit a little bit, I start talking somewhere in here. How we came up. Okay, so I'll give it a, just a little bit of room and I can go back and tighten that up in the rest of the edit here. It makes it easy when you kind of know where your beginning, middle, and end are. Uh, for this case, I know the song starts somewhere over here, so I'll chop this part out too. 
And I'm using short keys, guys, so if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm down here on the keyboard, and I'm using, you know, all these little short keys in order to move things around. All the short keys in Final Cut Pro obviously are listed in here. You can always get those. Um, but I'm using those to move around as well as using these arrow keys in order to get and move around really quickly. I typically leave the rest of this alone. I will bring the audio up in the middle here where it's a wrap kind of. Yeah, the peaks are right negative six. So what I'll end up doing is usually going up about negative six. So I'll plus six, sometimes plus five. Yeah, so we'll do that, and you'll notice how now the audio is much louder. Rap thing going on, I don't know. It, correct me if I'm wrong, if you guys have seen this. Where we... And so that way my voice is a little bit louder. Now, back to the video edit, which I don't need this beginning here, so we'll get rid of that, and I don't need this end here. Get rid of that. Hey everybody, what's up, Roy S4? That's the beginning, sounds good to me. We'll get rid of all of this extra. And at the end, let's see, there's a ending. Yeah, I think... I'll talk to you next time. Okay, so I go with, I'll talk to you next time. We'll give it a little bit on the end and chop off all of this extra here on the end. So there's some edits that need to be taken care of in here as well. So we'll fix that Another up. Another reaction end. video. Okay, so there's a thing that I do where there's a video. record scratch. I'll show you that here in a second. I'm just using the blade here. There are other features you can use, whatever you want to use in here in order to chop this up, make it look nicer. You can do that. Uh, there's another gap there. That's actually two. And just chopping up everything, making it move a little bit quicker. Uh, and then I can go back. This is obviously just the very beginning stages of this edit. Again, just these simple little edits. Let's give this one a listen. It okay, is. So there is an edit there that I'll make real quickly. Thank you, Connor. Let's give this one. Yep, so we can edit that there. Especially that breath there too. Edit all of that out. And then we can get rid of this as well. Let's give this one a listen. It is Connor. Let's give this one a listen. Okay. And in YouTube, it doesn't have to be so, so clean, I think, honestly. Uh, so now I have this intro here. It's really good. And I can use that. So now that I know that all this goes away, I can just move stuff around in order for me to actually hit where he starts singing. Melanie, she says, Feet's new music video, please. And, and video spelled a little differently, but yes, I've got to get to it for you. That's Rye Beaumont and Sonny Robertson together. So there you go. The intro of that song, I usually talk over in my videos. You don't have to talk over it in your reaction videos, but that's kind of one of my sticks. And the same thing, but with the ending, I will talk over that as well. Chop that here, and I can talk over the end of that. How we came up, it's feats. Okay, so there you go. So now you have a beginning and the end are tightened up a little bit where I actually talk over the song, all the while keeping all the audio in. Now that I have all of this kind of roughed in, I'm actually just going to go into Final Cut now, and since I have been, you know, I have a couple of videos before here where I have an intro already ready, an outro already ready, I'm just gonna simply copy it into my timeline by going and finding it on the previous music reaction video uh, because it's already put together i just copy the whole front end copy it and then bring it right into my timeline i usually select all get my moving tool which is position right there and i move things down so that i have kind of some room to drop it in place in this case i'm going to go to the very front right there and then i'm going to paste it so just a simple paste. Boop. So it brought all of those files over. The whole front end of this video is there, right? And so now I can put it right here onto the beginning of this video. Same thing with the ending. I'm going to do the same thing here, which in my last video, here it is right there. Right? There it is. And just copy it. Obviously, you can use the short key codes and put it over here. There it is. So now, when I zoom out, look at everything, I have the beginning from the previous video and the ending from the previous video. I'm then gonna apply it into here. So let's start with the end in mind. <laughs> there, I know that this track comes in right as I'm wrapping up the song. So it'll probably be somewhere around here. And bring it there somewhere. Actually produced 
it shot and directed by there we go and then because i do chop on chop off a couple of things we'll take these tracks here move them over here very easy so now i can just delete all of this extra along with this and there's the end of my video now the beginning is a little bit more trickier because i have this intro thing in here The cool thing is I know that my breaking point, the way that I've set up my videos, there's a little record scratch. So I can always move the record scratch, which that's what that was. Video. There it is, okay. Then I change the music in here. So that'll come in somewhere around here, right? And because the song starts so early, <laughs> I can either keep it or not. And I need to add my, my name. Obviously needs to come over here <laughs> and be a part of that. I usually throw in a subscribe up here near the beginning somewhere. So we'll throw it in somewhere in here somewhere. Yeah, for now. I will keep one of these because I actually want to come back and I'll show you what I'm gonna do here with that. The rest of this stuff I don't need because it's built specifically for that video. So all of that from here all the way through here, all on the main primary timeline, I'm gonna get rid of. Boom. So now my intro will look like this. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Roy S. Ford back again for yet another reaction video. Oh. Okay, so I'll take this music, which already kind of keeps going until about right there. Reaction video. Of course, it's been requested. Now typically one of the things I do, and you guys probably notice this, is I'll zoom into my face a little bit just before the record comes another in. Another react. So I'll usually come in about yeah, here. Another react very easy on final cut to do this you can even do this on premiere i just scale up this section of it just for a little bit going to my effects go into the crop transform scale right here in transform i'll just scale up the picture a little bit not by much but just enough for me to kind of go okay here's what's happening right there reaction video of course it's been requested. I have her name. Where, where's her name? She requested it, and I'm going to pull it up. It's Melanie. All right, so Melanie is being said here. Let's zoom out, see where my other little bell is. That was the whole reason why I copied over this white. It's gonna, I'm going to go and get her name and see if I can drag it in. Name. She requested it, and I'm going to pull it up. It's Melanie. Let's go get Melanie out of my comment section in uh, YouTube, I believe is where, the, where the, the comment is. Let's go find it. There she is. And so I'm just going to set it up where I can grab this comment, which is right in here. And I just want what she says. Yeah, there we go. Now when it comes in, we got Melanie's popping up. She requested it and I'm gonna pull it up. It's Melanie. Melanie, she says, beats new music video, please. All right, so there you go. And lastly, now that I have everything laid in, I just wanna get a little bit of a teaser. It's usually that little, that first five to 10 seconds. Let me go and see if I can find it really quickly. Okay, so we're gonna go here, grab that. And then let's just grab that. So now that I have that selected, I use the razor blade to get all of this. And use the position tool again. Okay, so now that we have that, I can drop this at the very beginning. Paste, there we go. And I'll use it as a teaser, just like I use this as a teaser to go into the very beginning of it. So I'm bringing over the audio, which is the effect and then the music that comes in as well. So we'll change that and delete all of that extra. So now, just go ahead and make sure everything is lined up. Yeah, 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 okay, it all looks lined up to me. And so now the intro will look something like this. There's a teddy bear, okay, okay. And there you go. And there you have it. After I've done the edit and everything, I now look at the track and I speed play the rest of it so that I can make sure everything is okay. Okay, 
And there you go. Uh, completely edited from beginning to end. Uh, I may finesse a few little things, which I won't show on camera right now. But <laughs> there you go. That's how I edit my reaction videos for my channel and a quick export and it's ready to go. Uh, guys, thanks so much. If you have any questions about editing videos and the actual process of setting up cameras in order to record all of the different videos, let me know because I can make a video specifically for that and I can help you out. Drop it down in the comments and guys, I will talk to you next time.